Hey folks, welcome to Camping with Steve. We're gonna sneak into the woods here beside the highway and build a little secret stealth shelter. Beautiful wife has just dropped me off. And we're gonna try and casually not leave too many obvious footprints here. And uh, in we go. I got enough stuff I have to take two bags worth of stuff with me. Oh wow, yeah. This will be pretty good. Okay, I am into the woods here, just dropping off my bag here. Oh great. Looks like we I'm already seeing the wildlife tracks out here. And uh, yeah, I seem to be in here far enough. And uh, yeah, I gotta just go back and grab another thing from the car. And there we go. Here we are. Beautiful wife just driving away and here's that strange alone feeling that I had last time <laughs> I got dropped off on the side of the road a few moments ago we were laughing listening to the radio having a coffee and here I am in the middle of the woods so gonna scope things out here it looks like really good potential to build a stealth shelter the right type of area really good cover from the road shouldn't be anybody seeing really anything in here and a million great building sites so we're gonna dig right into this right away while we still got some daylight now this is a stealthy spot for a permanent type of a structure which is just great because i'm going to use this on bike trips and a whole bunch of other stuff Given that it's a permanent thing, it's not just a hammock or a tarp. You have to use the stealth chainsaw. This thing should be quiet out here. Not bad. Certainly quieter than a real one. And this will allow me to get a lot more done than a simple sweet saw or something like that. So we're going to start getting some wood chopped up here been a careful ear out for anybody driving past because there is another road on that side I'm not gonna identify this place but uh, if you do figure out where it is and come across it you're welcome to camp here so just please don't trash the place or anything if you do find where it is so time to get started Perfect. If I time it with the cars going past, nobody's ever going to hear that. I'll just start collecting a bunch of a bunch of logs, then I can build whatever I need out of it. Uh, and there's no shortage around here. They're nice, nice straight ones. Perfect. I'm not grabbing any of these logs from around where I need the cover. I'm taking the ones that are laying down on the ground in behind me. Now, I could have walked a fair ways further into there, but I also don't want to carry my stuff a whole huge distance either. I want it to be convenient enough and also stealthy enough. So with, a little, uh, with a little craftsmanship here, we should have a stealthy structure in no time. found a way to kind of wedge the ridge log in here temporarily and I'll lash it up get some Alberta cluster knots it's not too tall because it is trying to be stealthy I don't need it seven feet tall because that's kind of asking for it I'm gonna try and work in a tarp into the situation and then cover it on the outside with more branches but I'm gonna put some down to kind of hold it up right now. We'll go from there.
don't want to use this one. <laughs> enough to sit down in. I'll be able to peek out that way. I won't be able to see anything over there, but that's okay. I'll, I'll cover it up nicely with some camouflage. It's not much by bushcraft standards, but we have to be as quick and quiet as possible. We don't really have the luxury here of doing a full day of uh, using fairly loud hand saws or that type of thing, uh, we'd be caught in about a second. So the one piece of advice I'll give, which is rare, because this is not an educational channel by any means. I was trying to get this all done before the sun goes down, because out here in a flashlight, looking around for wood is gonna be a lot more obvious. But I've realized I'm developing a sweat. So I gotta relax for a little bit, dry off here with my jacket open and do some light work like lashing these up because otherwise that sun's going to go down it gets very cold and that's not going to bode well for me if I'm sitting here all moist for lack of a better term according to the clock I've got two hours and then it is pretty dark so going to be a rush job today but uh you can do a good job and a fast job, right? <laughs> Before the sun goes down, rip off all these little things that are going to poke my eye out when it starts to get dark. So the way life goes is, step one, your wife drops you off on the side of the highway in the middle of nowhere. And step two, it's beer. Mm, yeah. I did get a comment from somebody who is very angry that I don't chug the beers. But restraint is the name of the game, folks. Particularly in a stealthy situation. All of that step two fun has got to wait for right now, because as every construction boss says, we're burning daylight. Tarp up. It's an inexpensive one, the cheapest they sell, because I'm leaving it here. It'll hopefully stand up to the rigors of time, but I'm somehow not optimistic. Things as thick as a grocery bag. The tarp is clearly too small. That's okay, we've got two. I got the tarp on this side. But this isn't camo, this is a really weird green color. Uh, and it's the most obvious looking thing I've ever seen. So I'm going to throw a bunch of uh, dead branches and stuff on this side. And then we'll worry about closing in the other side. That's not really exposed to the traffic as much. On this side, I got a whole bunch of debris piled up. So that kind of blocks it. I had a better colored tarp, I'm kind of kicking myself I didn't get a, a thicker quality, darker one. But this would be just perfect. I'm still going to keep throwing some stuff on, but now I'm going to use the remaining daylight to finish off that side. Because that side needs a little love. Okay. There we go. Somebody just drove past on a little side-by-side -side thing. Looks like they're keeping an eye out for some construction that's happening over there somewhere. But I got a lot of stuff piled up to that side anyhow. 
so it shouldn't have looked too obvious, at least not enough to raise any suspicion for him. We're just gonna keep going, and we got about an hour worth of daylight here, and then we'll tuck in for the night and have some to eat. Got the majority of what I need to get done with daylight. I won't be running the saw anymore tonight because it's getting a little too dark. And also, I don't like to do that after a delicious frosty pilsner. So, I'll casually throw a little more cover onto the side of the thing. Uh, keeping in mind that you really can't see two or three feet into here from the road. So this is just extra over and above. I could have probably just set up a tarp and done just fine. But given that this is going to be a kind of permanent thing I'll use again, I want to be sure that it's uh, up to the job. So there's going to be some more reinforcement. I'm going to run some ropes underneath to, to hold all the debris off of the tarps. Uh, okay, somebody is just driving by there, so remain perfectly still. <laughs> they don't suspect the thing. Off they go with their load of... Uh, Looks like straw bales or hay bales. Away they go. Perfect. I'm going to stop doing much more physical exertion for the night because it's cooling off and uh, it's starting to get cold, so I don't want to be all sweaty and, and risking problems. So I am walking out to the road here. And these woods, they're pretty perfect. Pretty perfect for anybody actually seeing through the first several feet of it. And from here, from here that looks great. Uh, looks like nothing at all. Nothing at all. If I go a little further to the outskirts here, I don't... Oh, there is... Okay, so... That's just fine. Just perfect. I'll, I'll take a peek from outside a little bit later on when it's darker out. But, that's good stuff. We'll need some more camo on there, and I wish I had a different colored tarp. But I gotta create a line of stealth camping tarps. They only seem to come in absurd colors or really expensive camo. So here we go. I've stopped moving around for the evening because I don't want to be tripping over stuff in the dark and poking my eyes out. So turn on a little auxiliary heat, and that'll help me acclimatize a little bit, uh, stay a little bit warm, because you get that shock right after you stop working, and you're like, oh yeah, that's chilly. So. Okay, just a vehicle going by with a rickety trailer. Nothing to worry about. But, uh, yeah, I don't have the ends of this closed off tonight, because the first night in a new spot, I like to be able to look around, like that, and be able to see exactly what's out there. I'm not 100% familiar with any of these places yet, and uh, not just that, I forgot to bring enough tarps. So it's not cold by Steve's standards, I should be able to uh, sleep quite comfortably tonight once I get into that sleeping bag. And uh, yeah, I, I've got good hopes about how tonight's going to work out in the future of this shelter. Just throwing together this nifty little backpacking cot, and that'll keep me up off the snow. In the summertime, that would not be a concern because it's really nice and soft and mossy here. I could build a proper bunk, I think. 
but this will need a lot of work. It's a work in progress, definitely. But somewhere that I can count on hopefully being here when I leave for a, a trip. Hopefully this air mattress is not full of holes. I got the feeling it is. And uh, yeah, here we have it. The quaint and rustic one bedroom with a walkout right there. Um, yeah. A wet bar mm. and and a small kitchenette slash heater doesn't get any better than this well the side over there with the highway I'm really not too concerned about because they're not gonna notice anything in here uh, they're driving by so fast, and the woods are so thick that I could have this flashlight waving around. They probably would not do anything or slow down, and they probably wouldn't care. They have got busy lives and things to do. The road on the other side, however, that one is a little more concerning. That goes right to a fairly big construction site, and construction sites do have problems sometimes with theft, and they have security circling around. So. That's where I focused all the stealth efforts along that side of the shelter and uh, it'll hopefully pay off for us. And we'll just continue building this thing a little stealthier all the time until it's 10 foot thick with stealth walls on it and then everything will be just fine. In the meantime, I'm sitting pretty and the uh, air mattress is holding. The pressure test looks good. So everything's uh, coming up Steve today. It's really starting to cool off down here, so I'm going to have to try and seal off the ends of this, which I should have done beforehand, but uh, trying to build this thing in a couple of hours was really a bit of a stretch. So I've got this part of tarp double layered up here behind me, and I'm going to slice along it and try to get uh, at least a little bit of the air to stop moving through here so I can hold in some heat. closed everything really good on this side. The other side's a little willy-nilly, but okay, I'll admit, in the winter, four walls is probably a good thing to have. Uh, but we recovered from that disaster um, a little bit, and things are warming up nicely in here. Okay. Relatively cozy for sure, despite all the uh, breath you can see here but this is the best panel I could put up over there over here is this panel and we're doing the highly controversial stealth test I got a light going full speed here and traffic has calmed down outside a little so I'm going to go outside and see what it looks like uh, Oh boy. Yeah. Clearly from here, it looks, uh, it looks pretty obvious. And I'm gonna head on over here. To the highway 
and we'll see what it looks like from out there. That's where most of the traffic is coming from, is the highway. And you can see how thick these woods are along the line of the highway. I can find my way there. Oh, this looks like a promising path. Here we go. Okay. Let me just uh, weasel through here. Okay. Oh, somebody's coming down the road, so I'm going to keep the light a little low here. I'm going to keep it back on. Here we are, stepping out onto the boulevard, and we're going to actually look in. Okay, yeah, you can yeah, pretty much see something there, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, that's the full light test. This thing is, you know, clearly visible. I'm going to walk around the whole thing just to give the sense of it. Uh-huh, uh, yeah, that's not bad. That's with the full light blazing, uh, throwing caution to the wind with everything. Yeah, no, I don't see, I don't see too much in there. Walk around, walk around the other side here. As long as I don't trip in anything. Maybe that's something to trip on. All right, coming from the other side. This is the road I worry about. Oh boy, they've got an actual security guard there. They have an actual security guard at the construction site. Uh, his lights are blinking. Yeah, no, I think it's Oh sh he's coming. He's coming. He is coming. And I got all these lights going at the camp. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. And there he is. With light. With the light going. This is the most scary again. And he's got a light. And he's got a light going. Where can I go? Where can I go? Okay. This has to go off right now. Right now, we got a problem. We got a big problem. We got a big, big, big problem. Okay. Oh, great. And the heater's off. And the heater's off. Everything's off in here. No, we got. Oh, great. Oh, great. Here we go. It's quite a thing. Okay. Yeah. This, uh. That god. I got the blood pumping. And now I just sit here. Yikes. I'm back in the shelter. I've got the heat going. The security seemed to just do a quick loop around, but as soon as they saw my flashlight, they had to come out and see what was going on. I know security people 
the most they can really do is to just call the police. So if the police are that concerned, they may come and do a loot themselves to be sure there's nothing untoward happening here. Um, and I'm just trying to sleep for the night beside a highway. So I don't think there should be any problems, but I gotta lay low for a little bit before I cook the dinner and it's starting to get late. And I may sneak back out to the road uh, with no lights on just to see what I can see uh, from the security folks if they're still lingering around the area or not but uh, of course lesson learned um, I knew there could be problems with security but they didn't realize I was here until I was out there with a flashlight so the woods are nice and thick and nothing was really giving off my location until I poked pop my head out with all the lights blazing in here um, like it was New Year's Eve or something so all right back into stealth mode Sure. there all night easily easily parked there all night this was clearly a bad choice of place to build the stealther back into here right away and that's pretty much uh, all we can do for the night is to try and lay low and yikes, yeah, that is, uh, I remember that guy, he, that, that is the one that I had to crawl through the woods for to get back in here. So, let's go. Oh, crazy. I'm gonna get some food cooking, and of course, I have to finish off Christmas leftovers. So, I'm gonna get that onto the uh, propane heater here any moment and oh boy that was a close one um i was filming on the gopro which is i take the little gopro out to do these things and i was just trying to look at the footage and i don't know how much you can see from that but uh i'm glad i didn't bring the main camera because i was like i was crawling on the ground and <laughs> I couldn't really see where I was going. I was like crawling on the ground trying to get back out here. Ugh. It's never again do I do the torture test with the full blast light uh, before I do at least a walk around before I put the light on. I'll say that. However, um, so far so good. Uh, the heater is giving us warmth. We are... We're, we're getting ready for the meal and the sleeping part, so yeah, so far so good. And uh, who says the side of the highway can't be a good time? I think it's quite a fine time. I think it has this little put down part here. I can put that down. Oh yeah. That should do just fine. And that keeps the uh, propane level lower so there's no liquid going up. And yeah, that's a cooktop if I've ever seen one. So, I don't want to burn or scorch anything here. I'm going to turn that down and look at that. Oh, is that ever sweet. Um, this little heating contraption just earned a few points in my books um, for the fact that it can do that. 
So we just wait for this little this little thing to warm up, and uh, yeah, I think uh, I think that's visible in the video of what I'm doing. But yeah, oh yes, perfect. Okay, that looks just fine. I think we've got uh, dinner heated up and this uh, this thing that had the prop to the ground I guess you could hang it up with that too or, or whatever the case is but for right now this will give me some heat while we eat and uh, you know, turn that back up didn't want to scorch my uh, leftover uh, turkey stuff but uh, Yum, yum. Yum. I'm hungry. Let's uh, dig in. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, this will be extremely delicious here. No concern about bears in the area. Bears in the barrier. Because, of course, they're sleeping right now. Like I should be. <laughs> well, I should have brought some gravy. However, this is still quite good. Mm, 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 mm. I have to give a major shout out to, of course, all my fantastic friends subscribers and everybody else who have donated to the beer fund so oh there's cranberries in there thank you thank you everybody for uh, for all that uh, you making things a little bit more uh, luxurious than they should be probably I got heaters and stuff now <laughs> so Big cheers there. Um, if you want to see me get caught, just keep watching. Um, if you subscribe, that'll make it easier. Because tonight I thought was going to be the night, but the night's not over yet. It could happen. But I always, yeah, <laughs> I'm always a little bit uh, concerned on every trip, particularly this one, when I I scramble through the bush like with no flashlight ducking under the brush, like crawling on hands and knees uh, to get back here. And then realizing the whole time that the flashlight was full blast, so. I'm just gonna continue to chow down here. And then it's gonna be some severe sleep time, because it's been a bit of a stressful evening. <laughs> time to hunker down for the night got my bear spray although they're hibernating they may be out and about so it's always good to have and there could be other animals as well so we don't need any issues with them see you guys in the morning one of the worst sleeps I've had in a while uh, but made it through the night fine and dandy um, I believe it was a subscriber that mentioned to me before to put your air mattress inside of the sleeping bag um, that saved my bacon because all this camping stuff is this slippery polyester nylon stuff and so keeping a little mummy shaped air mattress underneath of a mummy shaped sleeping bag it doesn't work, it's all over the place. And uh, it was probably five to 10 degrees warmer <laughs> once I actually put that in there. Like the sleeping bag, whatever it's rated to, minus 12, suddenly that was like minus 22. Um, my toesies got a little cold, but that's okay. Just uh, moved around and they, they warmed up okay. No frostbite or anything like that. 
So, yeah. I'm shelving this location for now because of all the construction. That should be done within, you know, a few months. I'm not giving up hope because there's potential here. There's, uh, it's along the route that I normally travel. Uh, it's nice and stealthy. There's ample firewood, uh, ample building material out here. It's just a great sight. So I'm uh, just going to leave what I have here for now. And uh, I'll return to improve it as soon as I'm satisfied the construction stuff is all over with. So I'm just going to pack up here. My beautiful wife, uh, I gave her a call. She is on the way. And I'm gonna get out of here before I press my luck too much further. So, just make sure I, need, I leave it nice and clean here uh, so that there won't be any issues. If somebody does come across this, they'll say, oh, looks like somebody was out here stealth camping. <laughs> so, you gotta get this stuff all taken down before I miss my ride. I don't mention it much, but this Teton backpack got off of Amazon. I forget what it was, but it was real cheap. And I've used it in about every adventure uh, if I need a big pack. It hasn't let me down yet, so I will give that my recommendation. Beautiful wife should be here in probably 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, all the security is gone at the end of that road. So I actually feel somewhat comfortable leaving it as is here. Um, it's starting to snow right now, so that'll stealth this up a whole bunch more. Cover up this neon green tarp we've been using. And uh, it'll be number one of the series of shelters between here and the mountains. Because when I do my bicycle trips next year, I'm planning to do around at the most 100 kilometers a day, so 60 miles. Uh, and if I have a few of these shelters spaced out in that ratio, then I can leave stuff here like propane, some canned goods, because uh, you never know. I've done a bicycle trip years ago trying to raise money for Habitat for Humanity. And it was a total of about 800 miles, 1,200 kilometers uh, from Victoria on Vancouver Island, BC to Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, I didn't raise a whole lot of money, but uh, I did have a whole lot of fun. And I found all those little towns, they'll have not what you need for riding your bicycle across the country, potentially. Uh, you know, like little butane, isobutane for stoves, they don't have it. Uh, and it's a lot to bring with you. So if I can sprinkle some of it along, these, uh, along the trip uh, out to the mountains, I'll be able to get in shape, shed a few pounds, and have a blast doing it. Because... Uh, this would be uh, quite nice in the summer, actually. In the summer, it, it looks like uh, looks like the type of uh, type of forest you'd be afraid of bears in. <laughs> but uh, I guess if you're close to the road, they may they may not uh, be too bold to come to come right up. But I'm just gonna move out further towards the road there, where beautiful wife is picking me up. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you like to see me. Uh, get caught one day be sure you're subscribed because uh, uh, you'll be the first to find out if you're subscribed when uh, when the old security guy catches me which could have been tonight uh, thankfully it wasn't so cheers guys and we'll see you next week we are out of here oh, nothing better than a perfect stealther aside from almost getting busted <laughs> yes just one more load of stuff and we are off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nobody will see that. Nobody will see that at all. Hmm. 
here we go. Perfect. And we we are out of here. <laughs>